So I'm going to do a mechanism which draws a curve they call um, the lemniscatoid, something like a lemniscate, I guess. Um, is this this one here a pretty straightforward uh, mechanism? Is actually just um, a simple four bar mechanism, but it actually gives us a little bit of complexity when we um, when we go into um, GX Web. Um, because it, it goes through a, a degenerate uh, position, there's a chance to talk about that sort of uh, behavior in these mechanisms. So it's a, a sort of crossed uh, parallel linkage. And therein lies its problem. So everything is, is um, all the lengths are designed to give it a, a singular uh, position. When it goes through that singularity, it's got a tendency to uh, go to the other branch of the solution. And we'll see what that implies. So everything's kind of the same length. Uh, a, apart from the big one in the middle, which is uh, length 2A. And we'll put a theta in, one of the, use one of them as a crank. And so this theta goes, this is what the mechanism does. And the, the trace or is just going to be the middle of that uh, link there. So we have a look and see what that does as um, uh, T varies, as theta varies rather. Now, um, a somewhat interesting curve that, uh, but take, let's just take a look at what happens when we, when we move around. Well, look, it's, the linkage has kind of unwrapped itself. So we've got a genuine parallelogram. It's giving part of the, of the curve we're getting is actually um, a semicircle. The other part is uh, something else and more the lemniscate thing. So in fact, we could actually create the, um, if you like, the other solution here, make that length A and this length 2A. And then let's pick up the midpoint of this and have a look at this as well. And so you can see that we're, um, when one wraps, the other unwraps. Um, now what is interesting is, so this is, the, this is the curve, as you can see, generated by the point E. If we ask the equation of that curve, Um, we get the fourth order, that is the equation of this um, lemniscatoid. Um, if we ask for the equation of the other curve, K1, we get the circle equation. What is happening is um, we're getting the equation of the piece of the curve that this thing is sitting on at this point in time. Um, and so uh, one of them is giving us the um, uh, E is sitting on this curve, um, and so we're getting um, that equation. Um, in this case, um, G is sitting on that part of the curve. We're getting the um, we're getting the circle equation. Uh, 